Have you ever witnessed a high-speed chase that ended in a shocking and brutal way? In a heart-stopping turn of events, an officer was crushed by a suspect's vehicle during a high-speed pursuit, leaving the scene in utter chaos. Let's start with this. Officer gets crushed by suspect's vehicle during intense police chase. In June 2023, a high-stakes police chase unfolded in Monona, Wisconsin, involving a 20-year-old suspect named Jay Kwan and Officer Thompson, who was accompanied by his K-9 partner, Zhao. The dramatic events of that day highlight the dangers faced by law enforcement officers and the severe consequences of criminal behavior. The incident began when Officer Thompson and K-9 Zhao spotted a black vehicle without a license plate. The driver, Jay Kwan, had two active warrants and a history of assault. When Officer Thompson tried to stop him, Jaquan sped away recklessly, exceeding 100 mepromi. Despite attempts by other officers to deploy spike strips to halt his progress, Jaquan continued to evade capture, driving onto sidewalks and through traffic with reckless abandon. His disregard for public safety was evident as he maneuvered through the city, endangering pedestrians and other drivers. As the chase intensified, officers deployed spike strips that eventually deflated Jaquan's tires. He then abandoned the vehicle and fled on foot, armed with a handgun. During this, his abandoned vehicle collided with Officer Thompson, briefly trapping him and causing non-life-threatening injuries. Officer Thompson was later hospitalized. K-9 Zhao was then deployed to assist in action. Black, white shirt, khaki pants! K-9 Zhao was then deployed to assist in apprehending Jaquan. The dog successfully subdued Jaquan, who discarded his firearm after being bitten. Jaquan's attempt to carjack a nearby vehicle was thwarted, and he was ultimately taken into custody by the police. Eugene, get on the ground! Oh, I told you! Get on the ground! Watch out, Eugene! Jacko, here! 32 in his hand, 32! Stalin him, Jocko! Stalin him! After his arrest, Jaquan faced serious charges, including felony fleeing and eluding an officer, recklessly endangering safety, and illegal possession of a stolen handgun due to his prior convictions. I My dog's started. on the bite, he's got a okay. 32. No. Okay, please! Okay. Roll on your stomach! All over! I am! I am, please get him! Arms out! I he also had two active warrants and was under community supervision for a previous gun possession. His bond was set at $60,000. From a legal perspective, Jaquan's actions resulted in multiple violations under Wisconsin law. The charge of fleeing and eluding an officer under Wis Statter, paragraph 346043, is a serious offense that criminalizes the act of evading law enforcement after being signaled to stop. This statute imposes significant penalties, including substantial fines and imprisonment, particularly when the pursuit involves high speeds and poses a danger to public safety. Additionally, Jaquan was charged with recklessly endangering safety, as per WIS. Stat, paragraph 941.30. This statute addresses behavior that creates a substantial risk of great bodily harm to others. Jaquan's dangerous driving, characterized by high-speed maneuvers and reckless disregard for the safety of others, supports this charge. Another violation Jaquan faced was possession of a firearm under Wista Stat, paragraph 941.23. In Wisconsin, it is illegal for individuals with felony convictions to possess firearms. Given Jaquan's prior felony convictions and the fact that the firearm in question was reported stolen, this charge carries heightened severity. Lastly, Jaquan was charged with possession of stolen property 
according to Wee C. Stat. Parf 94334. This statute criminalizes the possession of property known to be stolen. Since the firearm found with Jaquan was reported as stolen, this charge further compounds his legal issues. It looks like this criminal just got into trouble. But this isn't the worst case you'll witness. Wait until you see this next one. In February 2022, a severe accident unfolded in Middleton, Wisconsin, involving a police officer and 26-year-old Sergio Ramirez. The incident began when the officer, accompanied by a dispatcher as a passenger, responded to a report of a potential hit-and-run accident. As the officer proceeded through an intersection, he noticed a vehicle speeding toward him in the wrong direction. Initially, the officer suspected that the vehicle might have been stolen or involved in a serious traffic violation. However, it soon became apparent that the driver was Sergio Ramirez, who was driving under the influence of alcohol. Unfor the situation escalated rapidly as Ramirez's vehicle, traveling at high speed, was on a collision course with the officer's squad car. Despite the officer's attempts to warn surrounding traffic by activating his emergency lights and siren, the head-on collision was unavoidable due to the lack of escape routes. The officer's body camera was not recording at the moment of impact, but was activated shortly afterward. The collision caused serious injuries to both the officer and the dispatcher, who struggled to exit the vehicle. Ramirez had a visible head injury and showed signs of severe intoxication, such as slurred speech and confusion. He was uncooperative and needed to be restrained at the hospital due to his erratic behavior. You're already where? With you. Oh, for, and we ever get anybody to check on the other car versus tree? I was already with you, and you were already with the Before I checked the area. Bro. I didn't see anything obvious near This is stupid, dude. Didn't look super close, though. There is an ambulance. Bro, because you know that it, it, it wasn't even... That's it for ambulance. Bro. Oh, five, five, uh, oh, three, three, good here. I can go down there hey, and check yo, that. I can tell you again. The legal proceedings were extensive. Ramirez, with a prior OE offense, faced multiple charges. Felony counts of operating while intoxicated, causing injury and with prohibited alcohol content causing injury. He also faced misdemeanor counts for a second OY offense and operating with prohibited alcohol content, along with traffic citations, totaling nearly $1,000. Like, I respect you, dude. I want you to get checked out by the ambulance, what I want. I respect you to do that. So there is an accident down there. The yeah. road is shut down mm -hmm. for now. Um, we do want me to try and go In November 2023, Ramirez was found guilty of the felony charge of operating while intoxicated causing injury. The remaining charges were dismissed but read in, meaning they were considered during sentencing. Ramirez was ultimately sentenced to five years in jail. The consequences of his actions extended beyond legal penalties, as both the officer and dispatcher sustained injuries that led to prolonged absences from work. Under Wisconsin statute, paragraph 346.632a, operating a motor vehicle while under the influence of alcohol or with a prohibited alcohol concentration is a serious offense. For a first-time offender, penalties may include fines, license suspension, and potential imprisonment. However, given that Ramirez was a repeat offender, the legal consequences were significantly heightened, reflecting the increased risks and dangers associated with repeated intoxicated driving. Wisconsin Statute Prar of 940 091 further complicates Ramirez's situation by addressing the felony charge of causing injury through impaired driving. This statute classifies the act as a felony when it leads to significant injury to another person. Given the injuries sustained by the police officer and the dispatcher, Ramirez's actions were deemed to have caused serious harm, leading to felony charges. This statute underscores the gravity of causing injury while driving under the influence and the substantial legal repercussions that follow. Additionally, Wisconsin Statute, paragraph 343.441b, 
exacerbates Ramirez's legal predicament by addressing offenses related to operating a vehicle with a revoked or suspended license. Ramirez's prior violations contributed to the aggravation of his current charges. This statute highlights the legal implications of continued non-compliance with licensing regulations, further compounding the legal consequences faced by offenders with a history of driving-related offenses. All right, let's move on to this next case where things might get even messier. On January 22, 2022, a serious incident unfolded in Oak Creek, Wisconsin, involving a man named Keith Norrington. The local police were notified about a vehicle parked with its engine running and its driver apparently unconscious. Officers found Norrington slumped over the wheel with an open bottle of liquor, raising immediate concerns for safety and his well-being. Not yet. He's got his can leg cut open. I already ran it. I ran it. As officers approached the vehicle, they banged on the windows to wake Norrington. After a minute, he sat up and pretended to be on his phone. The officers asked for his identification and questioned him. Norrington's red, glassy eyes, slurred speech, and poor motor function raised concerns about intoxication, but he denied drinking alcohol. Hey, How long have you been sitting here for? At least for like 10, 15 minutes. Yeah, your, your ID's up towards the bottom. No, I got it, man. I saw it, I saw it. No, I no, got it, not man. It. Like, no. I ain't it's, in that, it's in that no, stack. No, it's though. right here. It's right the officers found Norrington had a suspended license and a history of OE arrests. They asked him to exit the vehicle for sobriety tests, but he refused and delayed. As an officer tried to unlock the door, Norrington started the engine, reversed, and struck the officers before fleeing. Don't leave. 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 Don't with Norrington driving at speeds exceeding 100 miles per hour. Due to hazardous road conditions, the police decided to terminate the pursuit after about five miles. Despite this, Norrington's vehicle was eventually located by Milwaukee police a few hours later, and he was arrested without further incident. We're gonna be going southbound on 6th. Norrington faced charges of operating after suspension, fleeing an officer, OWI, battery to an officer, and resisting arrest. He was given a $2,000 signature bond with conditions to maintain sobriety and avoid driving without a valid license. The officers sustained minor injuries but returned to work after a brief recovery. Legally, Keith Norrington's actions on January 22, 2022, involved several serious violations. A key offense was operating after suspension under Wisconsin Statutes Chapter 343-44, which criminalizes driving with a suspended license and can lead to fines and imprisonment. This highlights the importance of following licensing regulations. Norrington also faced a serious charge for fleeing law enforcement under Wisconsin Statutes, Chapter 346, 3 This statute criminalizes evading arrest and can lead to significant prison sentences, underscoring the importance of cooperating with police to maintain public safety. Norrington was also charged with operating while intoxicated, OY, under Chapter 346, 63. OY, for driving impaired by alcohol or drugs can lead to fines, imprisonment, and license revocation, depending on prior offenses and impairment level. 
This charge aims to deter impaired driving and enhance public safety. Norrington was also charged with battery to a police officer under Wisconsin Statutes, Chapter 940. 20. This serious offense involving assaults on law enforcement can lead to substantial fines and prison time, highlighting the severe consequences for harming officers. Norrington was also charged with resisting arrest under Wisconsin Statutes, Chapter 946, 41. This statute criminalizes obstructing or interfering with an officer's arrest efforts, with penalties including fines and imprisonment, emphasizing the importance of cooperating with law enforcement. All right, everyone, what are your thoughts? Drop a comment below and make sure to subscribe for more engaging and educational content coming your way. Thanks for your support.